Good morning everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Crystal. If you like my videos, please smash that like button. Please do subscribe. Good morning. Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday morning, half term week and I am at home in Rochester, Kent. Um, we know there's a Rochester in America but this is Rochester, Kent, United Kingdom. Good morning. Let's take a look outside. <laughs> no sun shining here this morning. It's a bit breezy. <sighs> but it's hot in this flat. It gets exceptionally hot, especially overnight. So we've got some flowers there. This one. <laughs> Some flowers I got last year. Starting to flower. There's my rose again. The windmill is a bit windy. Some fresh air. Gets really, really hot in that flat. Really, really hot. cool breeze going on. Let's go back in. Yeah, so good morning everybody. Alexa, good morning. Good morning and happy birthday to Aussie pop royalty Kylie Minogue who's kept us spinning around since her first single in 1987. Most artists should be so lucky, 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 lucky. Alexa, how old is Kylie Minogue? Good morning, Crystal. Kylie Minogue is 56 years old. 56, so oh, she's older than me. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 8.33 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Alexa, the date. Alexa, the date. Today is Tuesday, the 28th of May. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 13 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect showers with a high of 17 degrees and a low of 12 degrees. Right guys, so we're going to expect showers today, the sun isn't out, it's like cloudy and overcast and the wind is blowing, but it's not cold, it's far from cold, so a light jacket, maybe a raincoat in my bag, that's it. <laughs> So I hope everybody had a great bank holiday. Mine wasn't too bad. Um, so today, no, no plans for today. I just take things as they come along. Uh, last night, <laughs> I was like zooming through Netflix, as you do. So I was sat. Um, sat down watching Netflix and it's like being in a mini cinema because you've got to turn all the lights off and put all the blinds down and sit in the dark and watch something so I, was just, I, 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 I clicked on a few things and I didn't fancy watching them so I came across this film called Brian and Charles Brian and Charles it's well worth a look it looks odd and strange at first, but once you get into it, it's like quite interesting. So there's this guy, Brian, uh, living by himself. And he's like some sort of inventor, so he makes things. And um, like I said, it, it looks strange at first, but once you get into it, it's a good story. So he lives by himself. He wears this like white balaclava thing over his head um, and um, 
he meets up with this girl called Hazel, which is the no name of the post lady that lives, that delivers the post down here. So this weird guy um, goes to visit <coughs> Hazel. Hazel's like a quiet woman, because like her, I don't know whether I think it's her mother, like shelters her. So he sees Hazel occasionally. Uh, he's an inventor, so he invents this strange robot made out of a washing machine. He invents a strange robot out of a washing machine. And at first it doesn't work, and then he goes out to the shops, comes back, and this robot is moving around his, uh, his, his house. Um, so he, he gives the, the, the robot chooses his own name, Charles. So he calls himself Charles. So Brian and Charles develop this sort of strange relationship. It's quite interesting because Charles the robot has a mind of his own and he wants to go to Honolulu. And he wants to go outside but he's a robot, do you know what I mean? So. To cut a long story short, Brian uh, has got some people in the neighbourhood that are bullies, ruffians, and push Brian about, push him about, shove him about, and they, he does it to all the neighbourhood, this thug. Um, basically, um, they steal his robot, they steal Charles, and they're going to put him on, they're going to put Charles on the bonfire. And um, everybody is afraid of this thug. So Brian's just, at first, is going to let this guy burn Charles on the bonfire. But then um, he hooks up with Hazel. And um, he goes to meet these thugs. And he gets Charles, who is on the bonfire, about to burn, gets him off, puts him in the truck, drives him back home. And the thugs came, come after Brian in a truck. And um, Brian is like an inventor. So he hits <laughs> the thug with one of his inventions. And Charles shoots the thug with a cabbage gun. And it's, it's, it's funny, but it, they're bullies, look. And they get what what's coming to them, if you know what I mean. The whole the whole neighbourhood tells Brian <coughs> what this thug has done to them. The thug, the thug, the thug gets what he deserves, and um, Brian buys uh, Charles a ticket around the world because Charles wants to go to Honolulu. So. Everything's happy ever after. Brian gets his girlfriend Hazel. Charles goes off to 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 a round the world trip on a train, and he's off to Honolulu at the end. It's really, really, really nice film. No real nasty violence, and it, it's it it's it was heartwarming, you know. A bit like I said, it looked like it was going to be a bit weird at first, but once you get into it, I really enjoyed that film, Netflix, Brian and Charles. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So I sat watching that last night. Um, so I was up fairly late, so any bits of noise weren't bothering me. It sounded like someone well, was either next door or upstairs opening cupboards. So we've got that noise again. It sounded like they were opening cupboards or, or moving furniture about upstairs or to the side of me. I don't know which. So we had that moving furniture noise, like scraping furniture on the ceiling or someone opening cupboards. I don't know what it was. So I was sat here watching um, Netflix, so I was completely okay and occupied. Um, and then I went to bed. And it's hard to sleep in this flat because it really, really does get hot. 
and I can't have my window open because my cat jumps out of the window and um, it's, it's uh, my white cat didn't jump off the balcony she stayed indoors but this ginger tom cat uh, jumps out of the window so I have to keep the window shut at night otherwise he'll jump off the balcony this is a young tom cat he's not a year old yet not yet so last night wasn't too bad I managed to occupy my time with a Netflix film got up this morning I fed my dog the two cats got got ready and um, yeah I'm gonna try and have a different outlook and just take things easy because I stress my own self out if you know what I mean um, if you if I just like lay back and take things as they come rather than expecting things to happen getting wound up uh, 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 and try and do it that way but um, it's very hard to ignore things when it, things are ignoring you it's very hard to ignore, ignore them but it's the best thing to do then they haven't got anything to hold against myself uh, and use it against me if you know what I mean um the co-op is just the co-op it's like coronation street you know you know when you watch coronation street and one of the um the cast goes into coronation street it's the same sort of thing i've been living down this road for four years now it will be in august four years and it's just like walking into into a set of coronation street into one of the shops you know, I did used to lose my temper with people. I'll be quite blatantly honest. And I'm not surprised I did the way they carry on. But I just want to prove to people that it isn't me. That they they do. Um, these strange cough when they walk past you. Um, someone said to me, maybe they're trying to um, attract my attention. Well, I said, that's not the right way to do it. I mean, if you want to go up and speak to somebody, you're not don't. If you're rude and nasty to them, they're not going to want to speak to you anyway. I said I don't think they they're doing it to be nice. To be fair, I said, because why would they they act stupid? So guys, I hope everybody has a great Tuesday. Also last night, I, because I cannot bear to go out for a long period of time because the irritating annoyances get worse, especially when I go into a shop, you know, a large shop. This is why I order my groceries online. I can just about bear the co-op. I can just about bear it with the stupid staff and some of the customers being silly. But when you, you know, I'm getting older now and I haven't got a car, so I have to walk to these places, right? And it's bad enough walking like over the Strood Bridge, getting all het up, sweaty, tired on your feet. And then you go into somewhere like the pound shop and you have to wait in a fucking long queue because there's only one member of staff on the, on the counter. And, and then get pushed and shoved with baskets. And the irritants in, in, in shops can be awful and you can lose it. So I've decided, right, I like to go into the pound shop um, and I, I know the postage, right? I've, I've had to pay £5 extra postage, right? But I'd rather pay £5 extra postage, right, and not have to walk to the pound shop. The nearest one is in Strood which is half an hour away on my feet. The other pound shop is in Chatham. That's just over half an hour on my feet. There's two pound shops in Chatham. And um, I've decided to, to try the pound shop online. That's what I, I... So we see what the pound shop online... Because I like to get... I get my toothpaste from the pound shop. I get this toothpaste from the pound shop, right? 
and I don't want to have the stress of, of walking all the way into into like this it's like a you've got the pound shop you've got Matalan <laughs> you've got KFC you've got Marks and Spencers you've got all that shit and you almost get run over walking through the car park because there's usually homeless people or people selling the big issue outside shops you've usually got a bloke with a dog outside you know it's shops where where they think people are going to spend a lot of money um so i don't want to, i don't want that hassle anymore i just don't want that hassle i'm just going to get my stuff online now um I, I another place i like to shop is primark i like to shop in primark but you know I, i've got some nice clothes off of the tiktok shop i got some nice shorts fairly cheap from the tiktok shop so um <laughs> i just can't be bothered with it anymore when i was younger i could like blast it off but i used to get cross i used to get really angry with people's behavior because i can't stand rudeness i can't stand it I'm, I'm an old-fashioned person. If I see an old lady coming out of the building, I'll open the door for her, or an old bloke. Or, or, you know, if you see someone struggling, you offer to help them. This day and age, you know, people are pushing old ladies over. They're pushing and shoving old ladies out the way. There's none of that, like, help for people anymore. And I don't like it. I'd rather stay indoors. Alexa. LBC Radio. LBC London from Global Player. An accident and only one lane is open. Still very busy on the M25 clockwise at Junction 9 at Leatherhead. And that was after an investigation earlier, but all the lanes are now back open. Long delays on the A40 in both directions to Hangar Lane. That's because of the roadworks. Eastbound, though, especially slow where it's back past the target roundabout at Northolt. On the underground, there are severe delays on the Victoria line and London Overground trains aren't running today to and from Hackney Downs to both Enfield Town and Chesham. And that's because of the ongoing engineering works. This is LBC. Get ready for an epic summer of sport on a 4K TV made by Sky with a crystal clear Ultra HD screen. Well, Nick Ferrari's on LBC Radio this morning. I quite like Nick Ferrari. He tells his uh, his viewers uh, what he th yeah, he thinks when they speak out of turn. I've heard him. Um, I always seem to catch LBC Radio when it's at the adverts. Anyway, I'll see you later, guys. Have a great day.